Welcome to Sports Tonight Live, 32 teams. Now we're down to eight. A number of England players are on the beach, but not a Brazilian beach. They have long gone home. But a fantastic World Cup is almost coming to its conclusion. Uh, some cracking games, less goals in the last 16, we'll talk about that in a moment, but some cracking games to look forward to. And I'm joined this evening by uh, Kenny King. Good evening. How are you doing? You I, I'm good. And you'll be happy to know that Wayne Rooney is uh, not well, around tonight. Well, the World Cup is for world class players. Wayne Rooney's not world class. Right, OK. And Ben Davis, um, who normally would be wearing his number six proudly, England shirt, has come in a sort of made up. T-shirt tonight. It's not been ironed. Exactly. Well, you know, that's, that's edgy. I live in East London. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, there's no football on, is there today? So I'm kind of just having a having a bit of a relaxation, not pin, pinning my colours to anyone. Before until, until we get until to Brazil, Colombia. Yeah. yeah. Um, before we move on to the quarter-final games, it was notable the last 16 that was less goals, more tension. What do we think of that? The, the, the one that sticks out to me is the USA game, but. Would, would that be your best last six, six, well, 16 you've, game? Well, we've you talk about the best last 16 game. I thought the Brazil um, Chile game was the best hit of the game. For pure drama, you know, and two nations, neighbouring nations against each other. It went, it was like n nothing between them in 90 minutes. An extra time, there was nothing between them. They went to penalties. Chile missed the first um, penalty, then Brazil followed suit, and then Sanchez missed a penalty, and then. And then you get to the, you get to the last penalty when it hits the post. But even in extra time, 119 minutes. Pan, was it um, Panela? Yeah, hit, hit it from bar. outside and hit the hit bar. The bar. You got, That's the you margins. Got, uh, he got a tattoo the next day. Did you yeah. see that on his back? It was a tattoo of him striking that ball and the ball hitting the crossbar and it just mm -hmm. says one centimetre from glory. Mm. And that's what it's all. That's nice. what it's all about. What and and uh, you were in the in a bar with the USA supporters. Absolutely going crazy. Yeah, uh, Old King's Head uh, in London Bridge. Um, I went to their first game, first group game. There was about 40 people there. It was about 450 for the last game. An exceptional atmosphere and a lot, a lot of love for Tim Howard. Um, that was an exceptional performance. Well, whatever you think of um, the US uh, men's team. That was about, what was it, 15 saves, which is since, saves since, since, record, since records began. Mm. Uh, so there's a lot of, I think it was Tim Howard for president was trending. Yeah. Um, yesterday and that was that was an exceptional game and it was the kind of game as an Englishman watching that you kind of think so much passion so much courage so much determination sure they lack discipline at the back but you kind of felt envious of them but you also really wanted them to just hold on for penalties they might just have made yeah it. and that's what it was and teams did play with passion you had Algeria, Algeria. USA Chile, Not all Chile. these teams Not were Chile. underdogs, and, and Nigeria, they all played with passion, which England lacked. For the first time, I think, in World Cup history, the top eight clubs who finished top of their respective leagues got through. I so, think, well, I think what's happening just shows you what it is, is that, uh, you know... Like, the so cream rises to the top. The pedigree. Well, it's, well, the table didn't lie. Mm. The table didn't lie. The teams that produced uh, the most consistent performances have gone on to the quarterfinals. And in all cases, they thoroughly deserved it. Thoroughly deserved it, I think. And fatigue has played a point in this World Cup, hasn't it? Yeah, Where absolutely. a lot of teams, you know, players get cramped or they get... And it's sort of towards the 85th minute where the drama can happen and, you know, as people it's sort of laugh it's into the, about the 85th minute and get cramped and go down. And I think that's exactly why you're getting... Um, I think it was six out of the eight games, it was nil and a half time. Mm. People can pull on some semblance of fitness. But after all the group games they've gone through, in the extreme heat, come around 60 minutes, 80 minutes, you're on the floor. Mm. Defences have, defenses haven't been great this tournament as a result carnage which is why it's been so exciting in that last minute okay, okay. well before we um move on to the brazil uh colombia game the, the first game which i'm glad you pointed out to us just before we came on air is france germany germany a heavyweight france a young team how well, do we germany see that how do we see that game Kevin? well germany have got uh, i just um, my sources tell me that seven seven eight players have uh, fallen ill Dare Your sources. Oh, it's not sources. common news. Are you saying it's not common news? <laughs> it's not common sorry, my, sources, my sources say that there's seven German Germany players are falling ill, and one of the players concerned is Thomas Muller and Hommels. The Hommels was um, ill before the Algeria game, and he's still ill. Apparently, there's so it's not in the break. German media. It's no, nowhere. It's, 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 it's your source. It's my source. Breaking news, guys. Breaking, breaking news. news. Seven German players have been taken ill. 